We will miss the people who helped shape us into the young ladies we are today, who offered us a shoulder to lean on when it appeared as though life was just too much to bear, who believed in us even when we lost faith in ourselves, and who told us that everything was going to be okay, even though we were convinced that the weight of all the world had gone wrong. One of my teachers once told me that a simple thank you from a student was one of the most rewarding aspects of being a teacher. And so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our teachers. Thank you for taking the time to get to know us. Thank you for knowing exactly what to say when we needed to hear it most. Thank you for listening to our worries and concerns. Thank you for humouring us and pretending to take us seriously as young adults. Thank you for putting up with our mood swings even though they were far from acceptable. Thank you for keeping us grounded when our heads got a little too big for our own good. Thank you for teaching us crucial life lessons that we will take with us when we begin the next chapter of our lives. And thank you for making our final years of high school the most memorable years of our lives thus far. I'm going to miss everything about school, the hangouts with the girls, our bloody days. I'm going to miss the teachers, driving them crazy. My bully days. I'm going to miss um, Ms. Lovchevska and Ms. Lovchevska telling me off because of my chewing gum. My teachers. And there's times when people randomly speak Arabic and I act like I understand, but I don't. But they love it. And I use love the teachers. Look, miss, I'm still chewing gum. If you pay me five cents every time you chew gum, I wouldn't have to work. You're right, miss. You're right. <laughs> What I miss the most about Year 12, uh, constant staff room invasions. Having all my little helpers come and do all the lovely jobs they did for me, from organising yearbooks. Uh, Fatima Eljadi's laughter. To organising farewells. She would just, out of the blue, just go crazy and just laugh. Even the jerseys, if it wasn't for them I wouldn't be able to do all the job for them. Thank you Year 12. What I'll miss most is you guys. A crazy person. Being told how to do things. And also your advice and telling me when I've done it wrong and things like that. I will miss the insanity of most of my youth 12 girls. They all have their little foibles and little things. We have light switches and sniffling and paper tearing, all those things. I'll miss those. It's been like being a dad to 100 children. I'll miss, I'll miss my girls very much because they're kind of like my... Uh, my kids, I don't have any kids yet, but I love them very, very much, and yeah, it's going to be tough without them. My favourite teacher would have to be Miss Bolchevska. Miss Bolchevska, Miss Bolchevska. The reason why is because she's really amazing, she's caring, she's loving, she's cute. She's always there with her small hands. She's like a mum to me at school. She's hilarious. She's just like a mother figure. She's so protective and really sweet, and she cries over everything. The kissing scene, come on. And then her being the protective mother that she is, comes up and covers it with her hands, right? But it does nothing because her hands are so small anyway. She is the cutest teacher ever. And she even cries in front of us. Miss Francesca, for those reasons. Thank you, sir. Major is in talk. In year, what year? Year 10? 
say it's it. Miss Bolin, scariest man ever. Literally, every man for themselves, <laughs> and they ran out. And the last one was the Lao Alamadine with a big long saddlebag, and she's running for her life. And yeah, it was really funny. And then she starts running around the classroom trying to find bottles of water. She grabs bottles of water and she starts to come, um, spilling them on her toe because she thinks it's bleeding, which it was so not bleeding. Um, and then she took me out of class. Hello, we don't do that, we just sit and bitch. My most minimal moments were probably Darley trying to play soccer, wearing an umbrella, or carrying an umbrella. Fatima Rao Shaikh dropping that bottle of mercury. Our making of our video in class. Yusra Omar and Suha Karim constantly complaining about the marks that they got and debating whether they needed more. We dad trying to dance in the Mighty Cultural Day. Janina Coon talking me into buying a dozen roses. This year's camp, it was absolutely fabulous. We had so much fun and the kids, the girls were just lovely to be around. It wasn't like torture at all, it was fun, four days of fun. Dali and Jawear here, asking about when we were going to do the mitosis of an onion skin. I thought, where the hell did they get that from? And mucking around with all the practice that we have done in senior science. Osha Clink, constantly giving me her opinion on how I should be doing things. When I received my jersey and you had uh, selected what went on it and it had inspirational was a memory that I'm going to hold very dear to my heart. Rayanne Elderdoon, just giving me dirties. <laughs> just a seal actually having her lips sealed. I guess they were my most memorable moments. My farewell message to the Year 12 2010 is just be like you are. You're wonderful young women and you've got a great future ahead of you and just make sure you stay in touch. That's what, you know, that's what we really like here. Drop back, pay a visit and let us know how you're going. I love you all. Roses are red, violets are blue, school is a cow, and I love you. <laughs> 
hear my message. What am I, uh, what am I gonna say? Uh, girls, as I've said before, I miss you very, very much. It has been a pleasure and an honor to teach you. And I hope that wherever you go and whatever you do, you stand up for yourselves and follow your dreams. And I hope that you make something really nice of your lives because uh, you should. Don't take second best. Bye, girls. Year 12, you have got the lot. You're absolutely wonderful and outstanding young women. And the future has so much in store for you. And I wish you all the very best and look forward to finding out where the journey takes you. All the best year 12. My message to all you girls is that you've had a big part in my life. You've always there for me. I'm going to miss you so much. I wish you all the best for the future. And I want you all to keep in touch. Stay strong and keep your head up and yeah, I miss you so much.